Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Artifacts Plus Marvel Now Uncanny X-Men's Wolverine. If you're trying to pre-order this statue, you can do so at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. Again, if you want to see the latest from them, check the links in the description below. Very nice packaging over here. I really like the comic images that we're getting right over there. On the side, it's see it says Uncanny X-Men, more comic art, hey there's Deadpool. And then on the back you can see some product shot, there's a lengthy read up, if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now. Then on this side we get some concept art, and then on the top it says Marvel Now and not much more at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Marvel Now Wolverine out of the packaging. Also the last Wolverine costume that we've seen, right? Unless I'm incorrect about that, I think this is the very last costume he wears before he dies. And he's just completely covered in adamantium and then dried up and just left there for death dead, right? So, anyway, I like this statue. I really like the pose. I think the sculpt looks really good. I do have one complaint about it, but it's kind of a nitpick type of thing. I really think it looks nice. There is some assembly required, as you can see right here. They do come in multiple pieces, so it's fairly easy to put together. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. So, I'm really digging the head sculpt a lot on this. I really like it a lot. It's one little detail I could mention here, though, is that he doesn't really have his fangs showing. I always like to see the fangs on Wolverine, right? But other than that, I think it looks really good. I really like how the paint has this metallic-y kind of sheen to it. Or not metallic, but I don't know, you can see a little bit of that glisten right there in the mask. The yellow paint looks absolutely fantastic. I know it's really hard to work with yellow paint. Uh, as a former customizer, you know, I've had some experience with yellow paint. If you remember, I made like 11 AIM soldiers. Oh my goodness. But yeah, anyway, the paint came out just looking really sick with this yellow. I really dig it a lot. Looking right here at the torso, you can see how it fades in and out. That looks really good. Nice wrinkles right there in the sculpt. Now, one thing that's kind of a gripe for me is that I have seen other, uh, well, there's artists that have drawn this Wolverine costume very similar to how this looks, where this V goes all the way down here. But then there's other artists that have drawn it where it stops around the diaphragm. I prefer that look a little bit more so, but I can't say that Kotobuki is incorrect by creating the statue looking like this, but it's just a design choice on my part, or preference anyway, that if it stopped right here, I think you'd get a little bit more of an X shape going on, which I think they initially wanted but you can still see the X shape right over there it's just the center of the X is the crotch so it just makes it a little bit weird anyway but looking on the back you can see some more wrinkles and everything in the suit again I love the fading with the yellow and orange paint right there I love the gold it looks so good you can see some orange in that gold as well so it's not just a flat color that looks really nice all those creases have like this darker orangish color in there I think it looks really good and the claws oh man I really dig these very nice silver paint. I'm liking that a lot. Same thing with this side right over here. That looks really good. And the dark blue looks really nice as well. Nice musculature sculpted in there. And there's the thigh. Looking pretty good, man. I really like that a lot. There's a Wolverine butt. And on this side, you can see that looks really good too. Some nice gunmetal color right there for the knee pads. Digging that, and the boots look really good. And of course he has the magnets right here. And he does have his magnetic base as all the Artifacts Plus statues have. What's interesting about this is I'm glad that they added this little plastic piece so you can have that in there for more stability. Uh, it still works without it, so you don't have to have it there. So as you can see, he's standing right there on the base without that little clip. But, you know, if you just want it to be a little bit more secure, you can just add that in there and that works out fine. Now to measure this Wolverine statue while attached to the base, you can see he's standing just a little over seven inches tall and without the base you can see he's a little closer to six and a half inches tall. And then here's Wolverine next to the rest of the uncanny X-Men Marvel Now statues and these look sick man especially seeing them all lined up like that I just think that looks really awesome. Then here's our Wolverine statue not on the base compared to the latest Wolverine figure that we've gotten from Marvel Legends. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. So again I think this is a really good looking piece and I believe this is the only version of this costume out in any kind of figure form at all. 
statue or action figure. I think this is the only one that's out there where we get this final version of Wolverine, right? So, I don't know. I, I'm very pleased with it. I really like the paint a lot. Really nice sculpt. I have my little nitpicks here and there, but I really do like it. And I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let us all know what you think. Uh, stay tuned for the subscribe button popping up over there as well with my other videos that you want to catch up on. I posted a video of me and Dan Lujan walking through the Kotobukiya booth over at New York Comic Con. So if you want to see that, go ahead and click the box popping up soon. Don't forget, you can see a photo gallery of images over at toynewseye.com. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. And then...